Elolex is a top traditional delicacy of Ugandan origin, having started out as a roadside snack comprising of eggs and a chapati. This later evolved into a mix of vegetables and later on more additions came into play, like sausages, chicken, and now the addition into Elolex are limited by a chef and a customer's imaginations. Rolex being a humble Ugandan success story from deep down Kampala ghettos to roadsides of town centers into menus of top hotels and restaurants of Uganda. The Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities has decided to endorse Rolex as a proudly Ugandan product that is enjoyed by many people in the country. Honorable Godfrey Chiwanda did make these remarks at the media center in Kampala, ahead of the Kampala Rolex Festival Season 1 to be held at Uganda Museum. Chiwanda says this festival is aimed at empowering youth through creating more demand of Rolex as a fast food, but also improving on the health and quality standards in the Rolex business. It all started out as a roadside snack comprising of eggs and chapati. It later evolved into a mix of vegetables where they bring some mboga uh, and uh, some nakati uh, and of course mixed up with the eggs and more become more delicious. In addition, it came to play, like, uh, of course, they would make it as a sausage, bacon, and chicken now, tradition into a Rolex form. Just recently, the Rolex made news headlines when CNN featured a story about it as the fastest growing new African fast food. It has slowly but surely grown into an appreciated brand across the country, therefore creating numerous income-generating opportunities for youth across the country, as the former tourism minister, Mariam Tagamba, explains. People who are rearing chicken don't even know, they don't even look at these boys on the street. The people who are making cooking oil, they don't even know that these boys are there. So we are now bringing the face of these young men and women who are on the streets preparing a rolex that they are actually contributing to your industry. You should support them. If you are producing eggs, don't pass by. Buy a rolex and take it home and then the children know that after your eggs they ended up in this one. So that is one way of lifting the job description so that it gains it again dignity. And then we are also trying to make sure that uh, government focuses on this type of activity. Because most of the time we spend money educating people and uh, at the end of the day they, are not, they don't add value. But here is a group of young people who are adding value to our product. Honorable Chiwanda Godfrey encouraged youth, especially those urban unemployed, to take up such opportunities as presented to them, but also be creative in a move to develop the Rolex business across the globe. The Minister of Tourism, I'm here by calling upon Ugandans, youth to take own commercial opportunities the Rolex presents to them and also to use their creative minds to develop the Rolex business at a higher level and standard internationally acceptable as food business. I call upon the youth and the women out there embrace the Rolex, producing the most hygienic way so that it competes with the high standard like any other fast food in the world. It's, we, we are closing it at, as a Ugandan, it's a Ugandan delicacy. We want to promote it not only to Uganda, we want to promote it internationally. Chiwanda called upon the public to join government as it launches the Rolex Festival on the 21st August as it empowers communities to venture into this new commercial business. Brian Sinkumba, Channel for Television, Kampala.